Today, William is challenging Amber to a Christmas cook-off. William really wants the Christmas music in the office turned off. So if he wins, the Christmas music is going off for three days. But if Amber wins, William has to dress like an elf. It can't be that easy though, because we're actually switching your dishes. So you're making ayakas, you're making the beef wellington. Perfect, well, at least I'm from Puerto Rico. I've killed a cow before, this will be easy. But before we do that, we gotta each pick a surprise ingredient Ooh, for your dishes. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Oh, oh shoot! Chopstick. Chopstick. You can only use chopstick. <laughs> so he got the bad ones out of the way. Ice cream scoop and a carving fork. <laughs> Poke. Poke. All right, let's set the clock for an hour and go. Now that I'm apparently making uh, hayakas. Hayakas. Oh, oh, I. I'm gonna be doing something with these banana leaves. I'm doing beef wellington. She thinks she's pulled a fast one on me, but... Look at this! I did a semester of culinary school. William! Yeah? Look at this! It's not a challenge for you, right? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. I never do anything with beef, but I'm willing to in order to get this Christmas music turned off. So apparently I need to like cut off the stems. I've never made a tamale, nothing, nothing wrapped in banana leaves ever in my entire life. I've never even seen the things. I have no idea how I'm gonna cut this up, but we're just gonna say it's a mince. Mincing requires precision and we have a time limit, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Improvise, adapt, overcome. That's what we do here. The banana leaf is tough. Bam, look at that. Okay. Where are the jalapenos? Coke is mixed in and some. Ugh, that looks like you a lot. You can tell it's fresh when you go to the grocery store and it says it's fresh. Amber could never. Um, so your butter is burning over here? No, it's not. I'm making a brown butter, thank you. Oh, okay. If a spider crawls out of any of this, I will kill someone right now. Murder isn't very festive. I'll show you Sorry. festive. <laughs> okay, here is my dough. Oh! oh my gosh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good? No. Okay, so now we're gonna place this. Oh, and inside it's shredded chicken and beef and tomato, all this good stuff. Off the bottom. I don't have a plate to hold my things on, but that's not gonna stop me. It should stop you. It's not very holly or jolly of you, Amber. Next comes the steaks. We're gonna tenderize okay. the meat first. Um. Now, the secret to searing a steak is a really hot pan, and then you're gonna put the steaks in the pan, and the heat is gonna be very high. And that heat... Is that why it's a hot pan? Yeah. That was really, that was great. She just interrupted the little cooking lesson that I was trying to impart on her. That's not how you cook beef tartare. Um, good thing I'm not making beef tartare. <laughs> oh. What are you making? Beef wellington. Oh, what is wellington? Let's that's see a, if you even know. That's a great question. What Let is me it? ask my friend really quickly. No, um, there's no phone a friend in this competition. Wait, my phone's ringing, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to appear on your show. So he could rip you a new one? Rip into the steak. Make sure package is compact. The leaves are not ripped. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's 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 go back a little bit. Oh geez. Aha! Wait, are you using my hot plate, sir? No. Oh. I feel like you are. Well, the eyes can be deceiving. If William loses, he has to dress as an elf to work for three full days. I'm pretty excited about this because again, I know that I'm gonna win and I won last year. The winner is Amber. <laughs> and I, I feel like it was a lot of the same smack talk. She didn't have competition last year. Though. And then what happened? I don't really hate Christmas per se. All we hear is Christmas music. I'm tired of Mariah Carey. I'm tired of all these covers. This is gonna be amazing. It's important that you have something to put the beef on. Why are you whispering? We're doing cooking ASMR too. Surprise. <laughs> Do you hear that? Are you relaxed yet? Are you relaxed yet? Um, gotta use my chopsticks really quickly to it's look nasty. at that beautiful sear. Perfect. Yeah, it's, and, that's like gonna be well done. They're gonna need like a chainsaw to get through that. Mm -hmm. No, they won't. 
Or maybe they will. Who knows? It's called Aju Mustard. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? You ever heard of Beef Wellington? <laughs> this is just the elevated version. Why are you wrapping it like that? Focus on yourself. <laughs> I might win. Even with my broken banana leaves. What are you gonna do with, oh, you're gonna air, oh, jeez. I'm having flashbacks to my burnt turkey last year. <laughs> Get this right here, because he doesn't know how to turn it on. I think I figured it out. This is too easy. It's time to shake things up with a mini game. All right, stop everything. Stop the clocks. You got a twist. But first, we're gonna play a game. Go! Same more yet. Yeah, we um, made real progress. I'm winning, William. Uh, like <gasps> <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> so, you're making dessert. So as the winner, you um, get to pick your ingredients, and you also get to pick his ingredients. Oh! Okay, I'm going with the Oreos and a stick of butter. Your ingredients, sir, sardines, mm -hmm. and some cranberry sauce. So let's add a new utensil for the dessert. Loser goes first. A whisk. Oh, that's gonna help you a ton. Orange juicer. I'm making a crushed Oreo delight. It's really convenient that she got the orange juicer and she's making crushed Oreos. What people don't know is um, a herring filet dessert is my specialty. I'm sorry, what? It smells delicious. Get it away from this. Mm. Oh! Mm. That is... Skin on for sweetness. The smell that's coming out of that pot, it's horrific. It's making me gag, and I'm not, I don't even have to eat it. Good luck with that one. Try. With time running out, Amber and William plate up their dishes. I get the ayakas out of the pot that they're boiling in, and it's cooked and it's hot, so I feel pretty good. It looked amateur, terrible. Quite frankly, that Oreo just kind of looks like cap on it. Oh my god, three, two, one. Hands up. up! Okay, all right, all right. We should celebrate. <laughs> Thanks. Our contestants present their dishes to the judges. So today I have prepared for you a traditional ayaka. And for dessert, you have crushed Oreo dessert. The, the leaves are very difficult. So the banana leaves are very fragile. I learned that as well. This is what the leaves look like after they cook. She just keeps going and going and going. She doesn't stop talking. These judges are trying to give her notes and I'm really hoping this affects her score. The banana leaves, the banana leaf, banana leaf. Your banana leaf, banana leaf. I wasn't sure what to expect with this, but this is, uh... This is an edible meal. They had pretty good reactions, and rightfully so, because it was amazing. What you have here is a mother and her calf served on your plate. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so horrific! Wrapped up in a pastry dough blanket with a scintillating, sensational herring and cranberry. Dessert. I am yeah. not crazy about this. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look as it tastes. The medium well was a great, great touch. But would it be on your Christmas table? <laughs> no. No. It looks better than Amber's for sure. It looks better than mine. Is she blind? I'm not delusional. I know it was the puff pastry that killed me, and the cranberry and herring was the real star of my plate. The judges tally up their points, and it's time to announce the winner. Our judges have spoken, they've tallied the votes, we've confirmed it, got our results audited and double-checked by our accounting team. I'm here to announce that the winner, for the second year in a row, is Amber Tab. I am the champion, my friends. Wait, hold on, hold on. I am the champion, my friend. It feels amazing to win because to lose Christmas music for three days in December is not an option. 
to see William dressed as an elf is a perfect option. Since William lost, it's time for his punishment. I look cute as an elf. The only thing I hate is all this Christmas music. I know everybody's gonna find it funny and it's not a punishment for me. William looks impeccable. He is sporting that elf gear with pride. Look at him, he's right there. <laughs> it's okay. There's always next time, if she survives, what I do to her dinner tonight. Mariah Carey's not a bad singer. And in fact, I think we should have her on loop 24 seven for everybody to enjoy. I think Amber's right about something. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas.